Martin var evolle ren jashal she do rahom agasashin adol or anyang so hit and you good morning everyone it's rachel here it's december as you might have noticed or as we say in gallic the darkness um and we're going to learn a song today so it being december or the darkness um it's a christmas song now this one was written by mari mo nanore was it or was it written by another Mari? I think it was written by another Mari, not Mari Mordenore, Mari Dorr. So um, this was written by Mari Dorr. Um, and you may, you almost certainly will know the tune. This was sung by, I do believe, Cat Stevens as Morning is Broken. You may also know it from your hymn books where it does appear in English as a Christmas song called um, Child in the Manger. I think it's called Child in the Manger. Um, but it is originally a Gaelic song written by a woman called Mari um, from Vanessa uh, called Lyanov Anai. So Lyanov Anai, Child of the Manger. So we, there are many, many, many verses, but we're going to only learn two today. Um, Two verses, and I'll sing them to you now, and then we'll go through them, learn the words. And as I say, you probably know the tune. So, Lyanov Anai. Lyanov is a baby or a small child. So, Lyanov Anai is of the manger. We're talking about Jesus because it is December and it's a Christmas song. And what other baby has been put in a manger and had songs written about it? So, Lyanov Akmari, in case you weren't sure who we're talking about, the child of Mary. Child in the manger, child of Mary. I've already told you who we're talking about, no prizes for guessing it at this point. Rogach San Stabel. Rogach is was born. It's a passive, because the person being born is not the one doing the work. So, Rogach Mesha San Australia. Rogach Yasa San Stabel. And so, was born in a stable. The word here is Stabel. You also see Saul. S A B H A L, as in Psalm or Ostek. It is borrowed from the English, so Stable. Rugg San Stable. Re Nando. Re Nando. Now, Re is king, but Nando, this word I've only ever found, and I've consulted the dictionary, I've only ever found in this particular phrase. The translation given is usually king of the universe. Um, I use, try to use this as a translation for Pantokrata as well. So, um, but I don't know what do here means just by itself, but it's a phrase that's used for God, Creator Almighty. So, child in the manger, child of Mary, born in a stable, king of the universe. Hanik don asa. Hanik, it's the past tense of hik. Cheering, so came Don Asa. Now, Fasa for me, I usually use for that area in the middle of Australia that's sand and nothingness, it's desert. But it does mean a place where 
stuff doesn't grow and people don't live um, because obviously you don't have sandy deserts in Scotland so it's more like a, a wilderness concept which obviously the outback is but you know they came to the wilderness um, rolling now this is a word that you're going to use all the time suffering so he suffered Fulank is suffering so rolling he suffered nar naja aun ar naja in our place we came to the wilderness suffered in our place sauna eat sauna eat they are happy an ar the number vs ra lu that would be close to him or that are close to him so child in the manger child of mary born in a stable king of the universe came to the wilderness suffered in our place happy are those that are close to him standard christmas fare i would say actually no most christmas carols don't mention the suffering um but points to mary mcdonald who wrote the song for understanding that christmas is the lesser feast compared to pascha or um easter which is really um this is the, the incarnation happened at christmas that was required in order to have easter happen um so we're tying the birth of christ into easter i think a lot of people just separate these and go yay christ has come and then forget about easter which is only three months away so anyway came to the wilderness and suffered in our place second verse lana vanai child of the manger mar rahresh nafayan mar rahresh nafayan so mar is like as or like raharesh reported um and then nafayan another word you're going to be using all the time is the prophets so in this case i would say ahresh probably means prophesied rather than reported the child in the manger as the prophets prophesied reported snahangalan art is which is and nahangalan nahangalan this is a word borrowed from greek the angelos means messenger it's filled with two gammas um so nahangalan the angels art the high angels because they in the sky um they mian ansul so he was this is bu e mian the wish or desire ansul of now soul is your eye but you also use it for an expectation so it's the desire of expectation she sari now adi is worthy so he is worthy our grai is worthy of our grai our love and is our uram and our uram which is our respect so he's worthy of our love and our respect a horse to give ra to him sauna and ara yes ra blue happy are the number that are close to him and that's all we're going to be doing today of that song as i said there's many many verses but i if i'm going to cut it down to just two i like these two because they have a similar last line so it makes it easier to remember it seems like they fit together there's a lot of stuff in that it's a good two verses to sing so we shall sing it Yana vanayan, Yana vegmari, Rogang san stabal, Rinando, Hanig donasa, Golink narnacha, So 
Christmas, everyone, and I hope to see you next week. Cheerio and trasta!